Okay, welcome back guys. I uh, wanted to do a quick video basically um, on some uh, Bitcoin update. Uh, but before I go into the update, um, I have a comment and I'll show you what I mean. So I have a comment here from Solo Extreme, um, Dragon Ball Z, good picture. <laughs> so um, yeah, definitely I used to be a big fan back in the days. Used to watch it, I binged on it. Um, it was mental, I used to love this stuff. But um, what basically Solo Extreme has asked is a very simple question and I do like um, what he said. He said, why don't you take Elliott Wave into your trading account, uh, trading analysis, because I can clearly see an ABC correction pattern from last week's all time high to now. Maybe it is too early to see the confirmation, but the rejection down to the lower, lower levels um, then end of wave one. Okay, so this is what he's saying. So I, I mean, I'm assuming what he's talking about is the Elliott wave. Obviously, he's, he's mentioning it. This is definitely an Elliott wave. Um, so I've basically answered back to him. I said, "You are correct." On my personal charts, I do use Elliott waves, and it's true, I do. But I don't use the Elliott wave, and I don't want to promote the Elliott wave to beginners. Um, and I'll explain a little bit more in this video. Also, I'm going to be dropping a mini tutorial on um, kind of a tutorial or kind of a more of an understanding of the Elliott wave in this particular video. So I hope um, you guys will watch to the end um, to understand more. So um, here somebody said, uh, interesting question, but isn't really a kind of subjective? Yes, it is. But I've had a look at love, uh, another look and I, I'm, I've seen a few things. So what I wanna do is basically go straight into the charts first, and then I'll show you the, um, the Elliott wave, what I see and how I kind of examine it and um, what the functions are and then we'll come back to the charts again to see what kind of an indicator you can use to make life easier without doing all the hard work right because Elliott wave is not an easy thing to work with so let's go straight into the chart right now and I want to show you a few bits and bobs right so number one thing as you can see we've definitely here on the hourly uh, peak slightly below and we're still having a nice little battle around here if I just enlarge it for you just to show you so definitely having a battle on this and remember one thing I always say if we keep on tapping on something right so we're constantly knocking on the door of this support line we are going to break it at some point right so for us to be safe right and I'm just going to drop this first before I go into any of the other stuff for us to know that we are conf confident and we are definitely going up we need a higher high right and before we do a higher high what we need to do is basically look at this particular high here and we need to so I'm just going to drop it here just to kind of tell you this is the one that's going to validate us so as long as we can break above this particular line this 51,596 which is kind of a um, the previous higher high so as long as we break above this then we create a new higher high which will basically give us um, the confidence to go back up also it will give me the confidence personally um, to kind of change my views from this particular range that I drew previously so what I've done is I've also put another mark here I've adjusted it slightly a little bit so you can see it's on the 38,600 rather than the 39 however my buy range is the 39 so I've got it on the 39,000 just around here and as I said if it doesn't come there I'm absolutely fine because I haven't sold any of my bitcoins or anything like this so I'm, I'm absolutely fine with this right so it doesn't matter um, however this would be a nice little discount for me and also coming back to the question of the Elliott wave so clearly this is what you've seen let me have a look and see what I can see right so I'm just going to try and see if I can figure out so there is a there are some fundamental problems um, because if you look at the chart and I'm on the hourly right now so um, it doesn't really matter whether I do it on the hourly uh, actually, the best way to do it is on a four hourly. So let's do it on a four hourly just to kind of get a better idea of what's going on. Problem with this Elliott wave um, is it would technically wave one would start down here, right? And you would go wave one and then some somewhere up here, wave two, wave three, wave four, and so on and so forth, right? Or you can use it on a long, shorter time frame and say, okay, we've had the correction, you know, we've had A, B, C, and then you can say, okay, now we have one two right or you know bring it somewhere and say one two and then three I'm, I'm gonna get to this right so you have to understand two three and all of these numbers right there's there's multiple issues on them right but if I discard all of that and say okay even then we have a um, you know we have a um, Elliott wave coming right we have an ABC correction right so we're gonna say point a you know point B point C 
uh, sorry, B and point C, uh, there's a, already a problem here because you see this C has to be as long as this particular um, point A, um, the A leg. So if it is, as you can see, it doesn't matter how I draw it. I mean, it could be, it could go any direction. So remember guys, it doesn't matter. Elliot wave doesn't have to follow exact pattern. So what I'm trying to say here is say, for example, we did an Elliot wave and um, you know, it had an A, B, it can easily go this way and then come down that way. It doesn't matter, right? So we could easily have it this way and then come that way. It doesn't matter. But what does matter, this particular leg, right? Of the first wave is always going to be same as the last wave for us to validate this properly. Also, there are other validation points as well. Other validation points would be, say for example, I just took it from, so I'm gonna take another, um, I'm gonna take the one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna say, okay, we've had a one, okay, one here, two, and then we had a long three here, and we had a four, and we had a five here, right? Just for the sake of it. One can be um, smaller than, um, you know, it can, it can be this particular zero to one can be whatever length, it doesn't really matter. Also 0.4 to five could be whatever length, it also doesn't matter. What does matter is the longest leg has to be from two to three, right? It has to be the longest leg ever. So just for the sake of this video, if I say this is the longest leg, so slightly shorter than this, uh, sorry, slightly longer than this, we're fine, right? Then we have another problem. We have, uh, so we have a point A, point B, and then, you know, so point B would be, so let's put, um, let's just put point B here and uh, also put point C here, right? One of the thing it has to do is from the zero all the way to five, for C, um, so for the Elliott wave correction to confirm itself, what it has to do is something like this. So if I just kind of just put a thing, so just say this is the 50% mark, right? The C has to break below the 50%. And technically here, you can say, just looking at it, you can say, yeah, actually it is gone below, which is fine. But then again, it has to be as long as this. So what it will have to do is go to somewhere around these levels and you know carry this basically same kind of a pattern for it to confirm we haven't had that but there's a if you look at the macro there are some other pictures that i'm seeing so for example if i just get rid of this right and on the macro just zoom in a little bit and say okay i'm still going back to my corrective um phase and uh, we're going to look at the a b if we see this actually looks more of an a Right, so just looking at a bigger perspective, this looks more like an A, and I'll show you what I mean. So let's get rid of this. Let's just get rid of this, right? So let's draw it on a daily. So on a daily, as you can see, right, this makes a little bit more sense, right? On a daily, if you look at it carefully, right? So we could easily um, draw our uh, first one, two, three, four, five. So we say, okay, we've had a one, you know, we've had a two here, we've had a three up to here, four and five. That makes more sense. Now, if that does make sense, then we have a problem, means that we're having our first corrective leg for the wave A, right? Which I think you have mentioned. So we're having a, a wave A here. So we're gonna have a B here somewhere and then we're gonna come down and we're gonna see the C. Uh, which I think you are indicating. So I hope um, this is, now I'm gonna go into the, <laughs> uh, so I hope you understand that I do use it, um, but when I'm using it, I'm kind of keeping another thing in mind as well that Elliott Wave is a very, very difficult technical uh, analysis tool. Um, and there's two types of it. So you have what's known as the one, two, three, four, five, um, which is the impulse wave. And then you have a corrective wave, which is ABC. But then you could also have um, another form of Elliott wave, which is a um, ABCD and a one, two, three move as well. Or sometimes even if you look carefully here, you could even have an ABCD E wave or an XY, XY, uh, sorry, XY, XZ move as well, right? So this, there's multiple, um, for the Elliott wave, you've got these, all these tools, and it totally depends which one do you want to use. But I wanna show you some easy stuff here, basically, how um, it actually kind of works, right? So you can use Elliott wave, as I said, you know, it has to have a 53535 pattern for it to complete in order to go back to the corrective mode. So 
we have five going up we have three going down five going up three going down five going up then we have another corrective move right so those are mini cycles within a bigger cycle and then um we have so much more so um let's quickly shoot off to um the uh, the 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 tool i wanted to show so the kind of a little tutorial th type of a thing i wanted to show you so here i've got this um uh, so i've just taken it off the internet basically and i just wanted to quickly show you because it, it's the same pattern doesn't matter so remember patterns can go any like you know it could go this way it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be accurately this particular shape right but remember the what i just said to you right so leg one is going to be a short leg right coming down it doesn't matter again it could be a long leg it could be a short leg but it doesn't matter what matters is this particular two to three matters it's going to be the longest out of all of them right that's how you validate an elliott wave right so the pattern as you can see what we've got here is a very simple pattern um, and that will give you a rough idea how to indicate the wave one two three four five right so we we are going to, have to see this it doesn't matter where it, it could it could easily end um, um somewhere basically along here and say just end here and it's fine and we could still have an a right so that doesn't matter what i'm trying to say here is for the c to invalidate itself it has to be approximately right so if you look carefully it has to be approximately 50 percent of this wave right so if we just take a line and we just put it down here and we draw it you can see when c happens it can't be short and just peak below it will go and it will invalidate it by almost about 60 percent. so if you take a line here and you put a line down here you can see it will invalidate approximately about 60 percent for it to invalidate it um so that's uh, one of the things also another thing i want to touch to kind of just show you you know what i said when you see a pattern within a pattern within a pattern well guess what one of the best Elliott wave theory patterns for you to see is on a bull run, right? So you're going up and you're going up and you're going up and you see all of these things, right? It doesn't have to be accurate. You see that. And you're still trying to figure out, okay, has this pattern formed? Well, it's very easy. I don't know if you saw it already. It's, it's staring at you. Um, hopefully you can actually see it. Come on. It's staring right at you. I'll give you one second. Write it on the comment, basically, what you just thought. But I'll tell you what it is, right? you will always see a head and shoulders, right? In an Elliott wave, right? For you to know that you've just completed wave five, right? And you've just gone from A to B, you're gonna see this particular pattern here, right? So let's get rid of this. You're gonna see a head and shoulders pattern, which is always breaking down. And that's how you know you've had your A, B, C. Very simple. And for, for you to see this, you have to do it on a larger scale. So again, I know a lot of people might show you mini waves, which are within the 15 minutes, within 30 minutes, within 45 minutes. But again, as I say, it's very, very subjective, right? Um, so it's very hard. And there are only a handful of people, I mean, maybe in the hundreds, right? In the world, who can actually use the Elliott Wave theory um, to its full potential majority of the people right and i'm talking about 99.9999 percent of the people on the planet can't use the advanced features of the elite wave theory however if somebody masters it then there is an 84 percent chance right accuracy 84 percent accuracy rate for you to predict the market that's a very high uh, probability for you to predict the ups and the downs and you can trade either way trade up trade down it's it's a brilliant tool to use if you know what to do um, I'm not going to act as if I know what I'm doing. All I'm going to say is I do know the Elliott wave um, pattern 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and ABC correction wave. I understand that. That's the basic way of doing it. The more advanced version is the 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, which is ABC, 1, 2, 3, ABC, 1, 2, 3. So those are harder ones to do. And people, you know, there are experts out there who can do it. But as I, as I said, I'm not going to claim I can do that one. So it is a, a, a very important thing to understand. So I'm hoping this particular um, chart and this particular drawing kind of explain to you, um, you know, what the fundamentals are for an Elliott wave to be shown and how we can see when we've hit the tops and when we've hit the bottoms. So we need to understand the impulse move of an Elliott wave in order for it to do the corrective move. If it does not have an impulse move, it can't have a corrective move very you know it just purely invalidates right so coming back into the chart i want to show you how why, why i just said that right so you have to do a bigger perspective now if anybody was going to ask me uh, and say do you use elliott wave well i do and i'll tell you where my elliott wave is right now right so if i look at my um elliott wave and i do my one two three four five move 
right one two three four and five look what i just drew you from the end this is on a super cycle so just on a super cycle from the um so you can see from 2011 all the way to now on a super cycle we are on the wave five wave five doesn't have to end here right so what i want to quickly just show you wave five doesn't have to end here wave five could easily go all the way up to over here somewhere as long as wave five is shorter than wave three right as long as it's shorter than wave three fully validated so wave five, five could easily take us to a hundred thousand hundred fifty thousand i mean in this case like i'm just i'm just going to quickly randomly show you what i'm seeing here right so in this particular occasion it's showing me a hundred and ten uh, yeah, 110,000. It could easily go to 120, 130,000, maybe even 150,000. The point is, is this is a macro level. So on a macro level, you can see far more data and understand Elliot Wave better on a super cycle. On a mini term, it's quite subjective. It depends on where you draw it, right? So somebody could easily just pick one up and say, right, you know, I'm just going to put it on the four hourly and I'm going to say this is what's happening. And you know what? By all means, they'll be correct. It's not. It's not that they're not. You know, you can use this and say this is an Elliot. Um, this is the A B C corrective. That's fine. And then you can say one, two, three, four, five. Fine. But you, there are other fundamentals in there that you have to understand. You have to see, right? So I hope this one kind of explains in a very basic way. I'm not doing anything advanced. As I said, look, I'm not an advanced Elliott Wave user. However, I do use it for a macro perspective for me to predict where the market's going to be. And right now, if I was to use an Elliott Wave um, onto this and I was supposed to do an ABC, right, um, which I can easily say this is uh, this could easily be an ABC, but the C would have to be here for it to be valid into a C. And if I use something else, and this is what I wanted to quickly show you. Um, so there is another tool that you can use rather than you trying to predict the ABCs, right? So remember the ABC um, um, corrective pattern, the one, two, three, four impulse move. What are they? They're basically higher highs and higher lows, right? Very simple, higher highs, higher lows. So for you to see those indicators, all you got to do is go to trading view, go to indicator and type in HHLL very simple higher high lower low right and you can use any one of these indicators i personally use the double zigzag so i'll show you quickly on my charts right how i use my double zigzag right so this is my double zigzag which i'll use and you can see it clearly predicts and shows me the full potential <laughs> and pretty much the exact duplicate of what the elliott wave does right and it shows me a longer time frame and a short time frame so on this particular one if i was to basically take this so take the bottom of this and say this is wave one wave two wave three the longest wave wave four wave five right and as you can see it predicted it exactly right so based on that it's now showing me where i am right so it's telling me this is a this is b and we're about to see a c so there are tools out there. You don't have to be an Elliott Wave expert. So in this particular case, as you can see, you don't have to try and guess the market because there are so many, many patterns within the patterns, right? So for example, if I was to draw another ABC, right, I can take an A, I can take it you know, here, put it here, B, and I can do a C here. But then as you can see here, my one, two, three is invalidated, right? So this is where the problem is. I need a higher high for me to validate the one, two, three. So my one um, can be anywhere. My two could be down here. That's not a problem. But my three has to be above this for it to basically become a three. So um, as I said, it's pretty subjective. It totally depends on who's going to show you. So on a higher time scale, you can see it. If somebody's going to try and show it to you on an hourly, um, forget it. It's not accurate. All right. It just doesn't work out. As you can see on an hourly, it just won't work out because there's just too much data going on. It's just not enough. I mean, there's too much information. Yes, you're going to probably see mini waves. Somebody might pick it up, um, but I wouldn't personally use those. I'd rather use my M patterns, my W patterns. As I say, I'm a pattern trader, so I'd rather use that. And so far here, for example, I can give you a very good signal here, right? If I'm looking at um, this particular um, thing, I mean, I'm seeing that the we we are, we need to form a W. Now, if we form um, a W here and we say, right, we're going to use this as a bigger time frame and use this as a W. So all I got to do is just go to a bigger W and I'm on my daily. Right. So what you're seeing here is 
literally a W. You see what I mean? So you're going to see these big, these are the patterns that are screaming at you. But then again, sometimes when you're going on to the hourly or four hourly, yes, you're getting a better data. You're understanding more. But here, this looks more like a head and shoulders, right? And remember what I said earlier on, right? So with the head and shoulders, how it works, you know, if you go back to the Elliott wave, so let's go back to the Elliott wave, you can see how it's basically going to form this pattern, look like a head and shoulders, and it's going to break down. When it breaks down, head and shoulders, right? Very simple. This pattern is always a head and shoulders, right? You know, these are your neck points, right? Break neck points, whatever you want to call it, right? So ultimately, when you go there, this is how it's going to be. It could be up, up, it could be down, it doesn't matter. So other than that, I hope I didn't go too much on it. And uh, I mean, look, I could be wrong. Um, you know, I'm, I just did my thing. As I say, I'm not your financial advisor. I do me, you do you um, ultimately. But um, with these technicals, there are basic tools that you can use just to predict certain cycles and everything. As I say, I always like to use my, um, you know, investor tool. I like to use my NVT to predict what the cycle is going to do, what's going to happen. I like to use my um, logarithmic chart, the Fibonacci um, levels, basically to kind of predict the future. Also, as a rough indicator, I personally use the stock to flow model. Um, it's so far, it seems to be pretty accurate, right? Maybe off a little bit here and there, but it's bloody accurate, I'll tell you that. So this is one of the reasons why, um, you know, you don't really need um, sophisticated indicators, um, you know, mo and also what you have to understand, most of those indicators were not created for the cryptocurrency. I have to really emphasize with this, right? M pretty much put it, forget most. No particular indicator, apart from the stock to flow, was created for um, the cryptocurrency markets. Fact, it's a fact. But then when you go to traditional finance and you do traditional stocks, a company is established. Remember this, a company is already established before it even goes to the stock market, right? So obviously stocks are going to be different. You're going to have your seasonals, right? So you're going to have your peaks and you're going to have your off peaks. You don't need a chart to do that. But then again, you even if you did want to and you put your Elliott wave to that or any other wave theory or any other um, analysis chart analysis TA, right? You will see the patterns is there. So you can predict it based on cycles and based on patterns, right? So all you need is the patterns. But then again, as I said, I've put in um, the easier ways. Just check your higher highs, higher lows. That's a better indicator than um, trying to guess the Elliott Wave theory. But if you did guess it, put it in the comment. Um, I want to know basically. And um, yeah, I mean, dude, you got to teach me how you do it. Because for me, I find it a very hard to predict the exact thing. It's always like I'm trying to do it and then I'll invalidate it. And I'll do it and I'll invalidate it. I understand the theory. I know the theory. I use it for a bigger scale as i said to you i'm using it on a macro level so for me when i'm doing elliott wave theory i'm using it on a you know mega cycle i'll use it on a um four yearly cycle i'll use it on a yearly cycle lowest is going to be a yearly cycle um and overall i'll use it on my um the super cycle which is the uh, 10 year cycle basically so I hope this was informative. Um, I don't want to drag it any longer. Um, but yeah, if you guys um, like the content, then please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Also share with one other if you found this helpful. Um, remember guys, I'm always trying to make content for beginner levels, right? And I'm trying to explain it in a beginner way. I'm trying to make you understand certain things in a beginner way. So, you know, I don't want to be the expert here, right? So even if I am, even if I know more, there's a certain things I'm not going to do because I don't, I don't want to confuse anyone. And what I want this community to do is also grow together. Once the community grows and becomes more confident, we're going to move up, right? We're going to up the scale a little bit. So I'm going to add a little bit more, maybe do a little bit more tutorials and this and that. Like somebody actually recently asked, they want to know, um, they want to understand um, um, the trading view, how I use that. So I'm going to make a tutorial on that. So make sure to watch that video as well. It's coming out very soon. How to use um, trading view. And I'm going to teach you one other thing as well. So I used to be a trading view premium user. Now I don't even use it as a premium. You can actually use every single tool that you need that is necessary for you 
completely for free. But I'm gonna show you exactly how that's done in a video in the future. I haven't made it yet. So when I do, I will definitely post it so you guys um, stay updated. Um, and uh, yeah, if you have any other comments or suggestions, please make sure to comment below and I'll definitely get back to you guys. I always answer my things. Also, talking about comments, um, actually I'm gonna to go to this and I'll probably end it on this uh, particular section. I wanna show you something quickly, right? So this is a very important something I wanna show you. So on the comments, right? So you can see this person, right, has uh, started to, um, is now kind of sitting on the top. So this is somebody that I'm gonna show something to you. What I'm gonna do, hold on, let me, give me a second. Let's try and see if we can zoom out. So this is somebody who I'm going to remove, right? So let's remove this person. This particular person is not a person, is a bot. These are the type of scammers I, I always warn you about, and you'll find them in pretty much every video. They're not even human, they're just bots, right? They look for keywords and, um, you know, what kind of content's coming out. They come there and they'll put a comment and they'll start up all nice and all, oh, yeah, yeah, this guy, this, this, whatever, hype up the video, get all these upvotes from whatever other bots they got there. And then they'll put a number on the bottom. Guys, remember, I'm not gonna post my number publicly. It's not going to happen, right? My number is available. Yes, my number is available, but on my actual social profiles, on my Facebook pages, you know, on my Telegram and this and that, that's where you will find that information. What I've provided you, anyone, anytime you want to know anything about me, just look at the links that I've put on the web, uh, on the YouTube as well. You can find all the information regarding me, if that was me. And I'm never going to ask you to basically call me and talk to me and this and that. That's not going to happen, right? I'm not interested. So you got to understand these kind of things. Just avoid, stay away from these guys, right? It's really not worth it. Um, these guys are basically just going to try and take your Bitcoin off you or whatever cryptocurrency you got, they'll wipe you out. So avoid them, whatever you do. And uh, other than that, I don't want to make it too long. But uh, for now, um, I hope this helps and I'll see you on another one. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Bye.